Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here this start of new campaign in Old World Blues in which we're playing as a Maxon chapter. Now I think I've played as him as before, but there's a unique submod for them out currently at the time of this recording called the Maxon Chapter Colorado Expedition, which looks quite interesting. But we begin with our departure from the West. Rising tensions and a desire to secure an eastern foothold, an expedition was formed in Lost Hills and sent east to Colorado. Paladin Andrea Brixley was given something, but Senator Peterson's bunker. Set aside as a safe haven for his family, now rediscovered by the Brotherhood. The codes given to our founder worked, even after all this time, allowing us to enter the bunker without any incident. But the expedition is beginning. The location of the bunker out east has been passed down through the Max and Lance since the founding of the Brotherhood of Steel. In an effort to further our influence and to investigate the former state of Colorado, an expedition was formed under the command of Paladin Andrea Brixley. A large but under-equipped force. Not bad, I like that. A small but well-equipped force. Ooh, man, power's gonna be an issue, but ooh, T45D power armor. I you cannot go wrong with power armor, especially T45D power armor. Yeah, advanced energy weapons. Yeah, and then the circle schism. Inside the bunker, we found a massive stash of stealth boards, which we used in our initial exploration of the territory around us. The side effects of these devices were only discovered too late, with a large contingent of our forces suffering from paranoid delusions. Our new home. After getting past the sealed doors and automated defenses, thankfully without casualties due to us having the correct codes, the bunker itself is set up well and well stocked with supplies and equipment. Weary from her long trek, a familiar environment is welcome. Out of contact with her brethren to the west, and after a quick discussion among her paladins, the expedition decided on the Maxim Bunker as the name of our new base of operations. Underground, secure, a uh, suitable home. Also, since we're here anyways, we must do this. Um, Ten combat is bad. I want to go at least. Two, ooh, actually, what, what combat width do we got to go? 18? 20? Maybe 20. We'll see. We'll do that. Two, go two. And then we'll go with at least one for now. Well, at least go two, two. That'd be nice. A snapping at our heels. The legacy of our defeat hangs uh, heavy over every member of our chapter, of course. Um, we do that one. We got scavenge PA. We will need some of this, but we want basic caravan stuff, so we'll go with that. We're not going to use that. Support equipment. Empty tank rifles, probably. Gliders. Madison or walls. It began as what we assumed was a fatigue or fatigue from the long scouting missions, or perhaps just a depression from being so far separated and out of contact with the Western home. It wasn't long until the truth revealed itself. Knights screaming in the bunks at night, paladins leaving their patrol routes that never be seen again, as he spraying like wildfire through those who use the stealth boys. Check the decisions tab, also look towards the boulder dumb to cure their condition. Huh. Regaining the lost members of a chapter would be far better than having putting them down. Our brothers and sisters lost the madness. Oh boy. Oh crap, that sucks. Um, look towards Boulder Dome. Okay. Uh, recover our might. That's not bad. Punching through steel. Ooh. We get to war Robot City. Scribe industry consultation. We need to hold on. We get plus one max entrenchment. I like that a lot. Well, I do want to go to war pretty fast, so. Next generation. That's not bad. Walshian military stuff. It's not bad either. Never lose it again. Required guessings goes way down. I like that. But, punch through the seal. Our expedition needs a victory, and the robots at so-called Robot City are a valuable target. Our force will need to strike swift and hard to succeed. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Alright, so we got three divisions of power armor. I'm just going to let them do that there. We'll see what we can do with these guys. Um, these guys are 10 combo with The infantry are what? Six? Jesus Christ, that's so bad. Um, decisions tabs. We put down the circle. Huh. We need power armor and infantry equipment. When removed, we remove circle steel. Oh, okay. Yeah, circle steel. Oh, God. Towards uh, Boulder Dome, huh? Boulder City, which is over here, but Boulder. Bombay Jack. Well, we'll see. Snapping in her heels. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm, but howling and screams. <coughs> As our own turn against us and everyone else, we encounter a great host to the north. The hangdogs push back our forces across the river with their ferocity we cannot resist with our depleted and confused forces. The hounds chase us and those left behind are torn to shreds. Oh crap, I'm touching that one. I don't want to lose any more manpower, so. And then what? Airship down. We gotta wait. Scribe initiation. Recovering our might. Our loss of equipment is egregious, and with no help coming from the west and enemies on all sides, we cannot wait long to recover our forces. Or maybe we do. We need to hold on. 
Our position here in Colorado is tenuous. While we can't afford to hide in our bunkers and shut the door, we can still prepare defenses in the case of an attack. Traders, huh? Recent some traders from down south in New Mexico have offered, or have arrived, claiming to be from the Summers Federation. They offer technology and base materials in exchange for survival knowledge and schematics. The deals they offer us tend to be in our favor, mostly since they do not seem to understand the importance and potential of the tech they have. So, if we don't wish to deal with them, it's simply a matter of keeping them from entering our bunker. It'll be interesting how this goes. Continue to trade with us until we stop them. The bold work of steel sounds like fun. But we need to hold on. Really need to hold on. What is this? Cool. What is this? I'm not completely. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. When removed, you lose stability, but at least you get it done. Break off trade? Ultimately, our prerogative whether we will allow traders in our nation or not. Well, okay. Can you win? Well, I guess we're considering major power now. That's nice. Can you be inspirational? Yes, you can. And then pain train. Oh, we don't have manpower. That makes sense. Well, if they want to keep attacking, they can't pierce us. We can pierce them. I'm kind of okay with it. Do so procurement, nice. Thank you. Combat language, nice. Oh, they do have a tank on there. How many divisions they got? Up to 11? So demobilizing. Um, I don't really want to hurt you guys too much. So let's let the power armor do it. We could actually use another person, though. Not bad. Not bad. Um, anything else over here yet? We are wasting our focus already. It's pretty good. Yeah. 8% is not bad. Losses, 33 versus 1. We can kind of get on board with that. We are on a circle as well, but we do have a cup of coffee here as well to keep us nice and warm and toasty. Alright, so maybe we can just not do Nice. Alright, so now they're attacking us again. That's fine. Let them hit the infantry as well. They look like they're really hurting. We're actually quite bad. Let's go 1, 2, 3 maybe. Yeah, I'll try that. Try it. See what we can do. Help him out. I'm gonna go there as well. We need to hold on and recover our might. <clears throat> Still demobilizing? Yes, we are, unfortunately. Nice. There you go. So there's a cutoff. Ah, it's gonna go there. There's a port there, but you stay and you go in. You don't bother if you really want to, though. You ignoramus. There you go. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Cool. Get down here. You go in. Take Robot City. Go, go, go. The infantry cannot hold that forever. Then what? Daily Army XP, Automated Warfare, Refined Warfare is definitely the way we want to go. Back when civilization. Add Victorium. Ooh. Burden of strength. That's that's very good. I like that actually a lot. Civilian envoy. Ooh, more daily political power. I like that because we use that for the entire campaign. So we lose stability, but what else is new? Good. Yeah, we have five research. So let's go ahead. Still demobilizing him. Huh? Kind of risky.
Nice. Go around here, up to here, and cut them off, and just smash them down that way. Why don't you go right here? here. Go, Power Armor, go! Also, I do this too. Go on in, guys. Lamar, thank you. Cover our might. Next generation. Exercises. Required garrisons. That'd be pretty useful. Um, let's do Walshian civilian industry. Our initial expansion to Walsh were minimal, besides approaching waste and settlements in the area. Now that we've needed a functioning civilian industry, it's time to put effort into settling our interests up there. Come on, guys. Hurry up. There you go. Pretty good. Still demobilizing? God dang it. It's a god dang bunker, kids, man. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. Good. Concentration force is good. Thank you. Improvised tools. Get some construction speed. And we'll also grab spare motorcycles. So at this point, you must just go ahead. Thank you, sir. And we'll tap resources. Restoring our roads and industry. The war around the Maxim Bunker was remote enough to not be hit by the Great War, but suffered from two centuries of probably conflict and disaster. Uh, our neglect. Fixing up the surrounding areas will help us secure our foothold. Uh, and they'll do airship down. No, we won't have to push it around. Uh, I guess no for now. Yeah. So now we can do this too. Uh, Shadows look quite a bit better now. Alright, so airship down. What is this one like? On our push north, our paladin stumbled upon a very peculiar find. Wreckage, air, sealed hangers. Still have a mission. Colorado Knights. Lost decisions to deal with some of the conquered nations in Colorado. Ooh. Very nice. Sure, why not? Because we can. Because we're worth it. Nice. Better production cost, better liability. Love it. Underground workshops will not be bad, but we still have a mission to do. A successful, a successful conquest and an inspirational discovery. The Max chapter is back on his feet. Alright, let's take a look. Compliance wise, how are we looking? Well, not great. Resistance keeps going up. But is compliance going up at least? That's good. 0.5, 0.2 every day is not bad. That's actually pretty strong. Compliance keep, uh, resistance keeps going up by 0.2 as, as well. Not good. Cool. Airship is down. I like that one. More max entrenchment is very useful. Incredibly useful, actually. Thank you. Um, yeah. Four days left for resistors. The other expedition east. Nearly a century ago, the Lost Souls chapter sent a minority group of the Brotherhood East to investigate the remains of the mutant threat. Fleeing after the Master's defeat, of course. <clears throat> No word has ever been was received in the west of their fate, but those wrecks seem to be bearing a cycling or striking resemblance to the designs of one of the airships that they were given. Was this the fate of the expedition? Ooh, trade, yes. Very nice. Go on train anyways, guys. Ass. He's not great, but you know what? We'll take him. You know what? So go with inspirational. I like that one. I don't know why. Eh, maybe not. It's only ten percent. Ah, out of manpower again. Brotherhood. Civilian integration. That's actually pretty strong. Daily compliance goes up even more. You know what? Why not? Knighthood. We still have a mission to do. Our second chance. Ah, uh, soldiers. 
Complete a mission. One of the first expeditions sent by the Lost Sails, but we're not let our fate be an unknown like the ones who came before us. Our moral or morale will be restored, and our tank or task laid before us will not falter again for the Brotherhood. The purpose of the remains. Gather the remains. Kill the ro roads. Refurbish the roads. It's robot City no more. Scorpion Menace. Ooh, Scorpion Bites. Confiscation of Resources. Scor Gain Scorpion Bastion. City of Denver. <clears throat> Not really ready to take him out yet. Um, Scorpion's Bite might be fun to take out, though. Bordering Raiders, this is a new circumstance for the brother. Ne neither is this taking them down. Good try it. Cedarwood, nice. Doki's Call. Two minutes to complete the stories of family. If not completed, two hundred. We lose stability and manpower. We're completed. We get Doki Doki. Well, I need Robot City, but these guys probably have quite a few divisions. Um, we have five. Well, after this, old soldiers versus iron. Captain Zhang's Doctrine. Making nice. What are you doing in Colorado? All right. I'm gonna get seed selection too. You might as well. And there you go too. Well, all right then. Um, next generation. Eager, fr eager, fresh face recruits. Hard face veterans to train them. All righty. Definitely need some more manpower. Man, come on, good. I want you to go here. No, 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 not everybody, you morons. This division. Rocky Ferd, huh? Rocky, Rocky Ferd. And then I want to do this one or get less required garrisons. Due to how close Walsh is to our main bunker, we can effectively patrol the settlements with a fraction of the force that normally required in exchange for the wastelanders from the region helping with the garrisons abroad. Nice. Oh, we another one too. We can militia field exercises. Cyber sitting town to have a force train will help our tactics give them morale. Nice. Losses 20 versus 1,000. Not enough. Um, awareness, spec ops. Idiot Savant. Capture more eventually that won't be really an issue. We'll wait for more upgrades probably. <clears throat> Go in and around them. Guys, we'll probably go from senior knights to knights. We need more population. No, sir. There you I never do flexibility command. Maybe it's worth doing sometime though. Um, after this one, I do want to get a core as fast as possible. So, thank you. Scorpions are destroyed. Scorpions have fled. 
Raider Ingenuity? Uh, Scorpions were a gang focused on vehicular mobility and their innovative methods of maintaining its advantage. She will even describe some new tricks they use in her own vehicles. Okay, nice. Good. Very good. Then again, now we have a bigger board with these guys, but whatever. What do you want us to do about it? Compliance is getting quite good around here, too. Yeah, just the more the compliance, the more compliance, the better. Oh crap, one completed. I'll be honest, I'm gonna be screwing this up a whole bunch, so. Apologies are not doing it the way that it's really intended to, but whatever. <clears throat> Seed selection. Or we could try to go to war with them next. I could sacrifice all these lands and let them come in, and then we'll just go fight that way, but. Our second chance. We'll not be beaten back this town, we'll take Dog Seed and the ones who hold it down to their graves. Clear the outskirts. Oh. 100 manpower, at least 50 power armor in stockpile. We will not be there anywhere near near there any, any time. I would like new system scare package though. Nice. Well, we could try it. Walsh and military industry. Our next expansion into walls were minimal, besides approaching waste and sediments in the area. Now that we have a need of functioning arms industry, it's time to put the effort back into setting up our interests there. Nice. There we go. Crap. I'm gonna go back down to Paladins and get even more special forces research or special forces cap. As long as we make enough circumstances, all that matters. Hentai del Sol joined. Alright, that's actually really good for that one. Okay, so we could try it. This is probably not going to go very well at all, but... And if it doesn't go well, well, we'll do some funky stuff off-screen, probably. Now we go there, up, go up, more manpower, go in, do that. Ooh, wrong one. Well, we can do it anyways. While the armor served us well on the journey to Colorado, it can always be better. I just got a few more divisions to work with here. All I care about is these goddamn encirclements. And keeping the divisions in place as well is important too. Oh! Speak of the devil. But we'll have to kill these guys off as well. Nice. Not good, but whatever. Also, for this type of civil war, we do have the Station Extra Tool mod, tool mod installed as well. So if we have to, and we don't get all the territory we deserve, I'm just gonna take the territory away from them. So there's always that option. Yeah, go there, everyone. Go to Wigwam. Nope. 
using all this is bait. All right. Nice. Of course, they're trying to take, take out our lands too, but whatever. I'll send you guys down here. Is this not a little extreme how they're not dead yet? Let's rip and just take out the capital. We just lost our capital. If we lose, it's not my fault. It's literally not my fault if we lose here. Take Pueblo City. <clears throat> yeah, and see, because of this, I'm taking territory that we rightfully deserve, so these will be ours. Yeah, I don't care what these guys want. They can have all that other stuff, but everything else is, is rightfully ours, so. They don't like it, they can eat a fat one. They can eat a fat death claw. Because they're next on the list as well. Is that Roblox? Oh. Okay, yeah, why not? One today, not bad. Um, confiscation of resources. While the wasteland is living under the rule of the scorpions, no longer have to worry about paying tribute to them. We'll soon comb the stockpile that the gang's absence left for the technology that we consider dangerous in their hands. Circle steel. How many divisions do they have? Our power arm is looking a little weak now. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a pain in the butt. That's the case. We can always get rid of one more. Beat these guys up a little bit more. Nice 50 armor. We did that. Will we have enough? We... Oh, yeah, we would. So now we need more political power to do that. At least one of these two. Probably do putting another circle would be really good to do. But, let's see. Clear out the outskirts. Put down the circle. Probably clear out the outskirts. My god, that's impossible. Why do they have so many flipping divisions? Watching scout. We expanded, uh, you know what, let's, let's send weapons to strike down our foes. Laser weapons might not be as, uh, seen as weapons beyond comprehension by the way of our day. They still produce results regardless of his understanding. Does this expire? No, it does not look good. Okay. We need time to just consolidate everything, my gosh. Hopefully they go towards someone else, but you know, you never know. Weapons strike down our foes, armor to safeguard our hearts. Powered armor is still our bread and butter, the symbol of the brotherhood. And one more arms workshop. So expand the max bunker underground to store and sort through the tech salvage we find. Alright, so we can do another one, yes please. Clear the outskirts, and then we'll do put down the circle next. That'll be good to do. Um, we'll probably go with resources, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. It is 2276. This would be really good to get, too. Never lose it again. Underground advanced material processors. Do we have a spot of... Map right now. Hey, Scanner's found something great. Old world radar system? Well, that's alright. Oh, take down Outriders. Oh. Put down the circle. Armor safeguard, let's do that one next. Follow it up with what? Scribes, expertise, untapped resources, civilian workshops, old lessons. 
Uh, watching south. Well, an expanded border, we need to extend our efforts to keep our territory secure. Pretty much. Nice. Ah, uh, way more planes, and now we can probably make at least two more divisions of these guys. It's not good. It's really not good. Basic well pumps. We can go to one two because you can. What's next? The executives. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. Nice. Um. Robot City secured. Secure the interior. Put down our brothers. Scorpions are destroyed. Well, oh, 25%. Oh, we gotta keep doing this again and again and again and again. Crap. <clears throat> well, Robot City is a quarter of the way there. Um, I kinda wanna get this one done first. So, take down the Outriders. So, we'll see. Gives more deal with pickle power though. Watching south, followed up with what? Deal with us as iron. Iron alliances. Power armor raider mercenaries, especially unique combo. Not to be taken lightly, but also cannot be allowed to stand in our way. Very true. Scrap bots, of course. Do that one because you can. There's only. Can I actually hold out here? That'd be possible actually. Yeah, I'll just keep blowing through all that stuff as fast as possible, but still. Doing that would be pretty good. Untapped resources? Well, we'll see. Wreckage insight. Air power. Well, let's do wreckage insights. Setting out a team to examine the wreckage could give us a clue as to what happened. Hit and run. Nice. Well, we'll do this too. That's gonna take a lot of time for all this stuff. Holy crap. How thick are they? Oh, they're very... They could be very thick. Oh, they could easily pierce us too. That's not good. Well... Aerial tactics. Having a number of knights trained in aerial combat using pre war manuals gives us an edge over most other ways and efforts to gain air supremacy. Sounds good to me. I love supremacy. Sealed hangers. Maxim bunker fortifications. Old soldiers. Fast revealed. After proper investigation, we discovered the cause of the airship failure. Something caught the gas inside the balloon, blew on fire. We presume it must have been one of the storms prevailing in the Midwest. The light of the but flammable gas has given the airships the range they would need for the original expedition, certainly not worth the deaths of those on board. Our scouting efforts <clears throat> have not revealed nearby wrecks, though, so the rest of the fleet must have survived for how long and how far away they are now, we can only speculate. Knowing all this, though, and not needing a long range airship, we can repair the wreck and fill with non flammable gas to use for our own purposes. A fine addition to our arsenal. Ooh, yeah, a whole blimp. A whole flippin' blimp. Sealed hangers. Exploring the conquered robot city territory, our paladins stumble upon something as we're going to save before we try to go to war with the these guys up here because they're probably going to be able to pierce us and beat the living bad word out of us. But we'll see. Ooh, can they actually? Pier Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, we can't pierce each other. Um, I'm going to throw you guys up here too. We have no spare divisions. How about I throw you in there as well? You should be able to pierce them, right? No? Yeah? Maybe? Air power. With our recent air discoveries, we've managed to have a unique opportunity to specialize in one another, seeing our efforts to improving the overall effectiveness of blimps? Cargo planes. I'm not going to use really either. I guess we'll go with blimps. Sealed hangers. Why not? Oh, there's perks here too. Oh, okay. 
Forgot about that. I always forget about that. Oh, they're forcing the attack now too, huh? And dropping feet first. Power armor is incredibly versatile, not just for ground operations. Treating your paladins and aerosol attacks could give us a definite edge. Well, they're definitely fighting for their lives now. <clears throat> Pristine relics. In the former robot city territory, scouts have found an airfield untouched by the war but still neglected. Sealed inside of the hangars, they found a small fleet of cargo planes, mostly preserved from the elements. Oh, nice. Fight down the scorpions. Patrolled and maintained settlements. Uh, roads clear of raiders. We have a stronghold over this territory. Transport gliders? Very, very nice. All that we can hold out here. If not, well, we'll do some funky stuff. Ooh, what is this? Get the tools running again? Ooh. Anything we can do over here? Not quite, so... Okay. We're doing some damage, which is nice. That's quite a few guys, but we're doing okay for now. Could be better, of course, but... What else is new? Can you stop training? I want to deploy him early, but I don't think that would be a really smart thing to do for us. These guys just need to be thicker, in general. Yeah, these guys are just so weak. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, honestly, I think we went to war too early, so we'll make sure we don't do that. Well, everyone, we've done a few more focuses. We're not at war again with Max and Chapter, but never lose it again. Chapter-wide equipment maintenance practice have been instituted from the bottom to the top. We can't afford to let equipment be the point of failure. Untapped resources. When we encounter Walshians, we do not strip their settlements of dangerous tech, and we should certainly be more diplomatic about it with a reduced strength. Still, there are plenty of sets to send our own teams to scavenge from them as well as to supplement what we can get from them. The bulwarks of steel. Our enemies will crash upon our steel. Shoulder to shoulder, we will not break. Dropping feet first. Power armor is incredibly versatile, not just for ground operations, of course. Uh, training our paladins and air assault tactics could give us a definite advantage. And we're still uh, waiting over here. We've done a lot of the Colorado Expedition already, just kind of wait, waiting and hanging out. Um, in the meantime, we are getting more daily army XP, which is very nice. Uh, we'll go to this one first, of course, and then we are going to continue going on. We might have to fight Lania soon-ish. So, we'll see. Oh, we get a corn robot city. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Uh, hold maximum bunker fortifications. Upgrading the fortifications or bunkers existing security, or currently, and preparing defensive positions around us to help us repel a direct assault, if needed. Even though we lost it once, we don't talk about it. We're looking pretty good for stuff overall. We need more army XP so we make a good thicker steel rain. Designing a specialized parachute system for paladins and training them for airdrop situations will allow them to perform dangerous deep uh, strikes <clears throat> well, when, uh, with precision when called upon to do so. Nice. Alright, and we're pretty much done with this. We still need new sterling, but that's going to take some time anyways. Going to keep training guys for now because I want to take these guys out as fast as possible because that's actually a really good trade note to get. And what else is next? Underground workshops, yes. Underground expansions into the Walsh territory will allow us to produce more goods securely. Which would be a great thing. Very, 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 very good thing. And that's looking very troublesome right now. Oh boy. I really want to go to war with them, but they're just so strong. I'm going to keep beefing up our infantry as well, just so we can have more defense. A combo is not good at all. Military society. We can do stuff about refugees, um, political actions. That wouldn't be bad either, but I want to get uh, someone else here. All right, underground workshops. Yeah, that's good. More good securely. Uh, Western fortifications. That'd be nice. Um, let's go this one too. All right. Let's go this one as well. <clears throat> City of Denver. Well, technically, we still need to take them out as well. Actually, 11 divisions. How many do these guys have now? Up to 24. That's still a crap ton of divisions. You know, we could risk it, maybe. 
could get a war with them immediately. Just, just focus on going one direction here. But making sure these guys can actually hold the line when asked to. That'd probably be the smart thing to do. If we can make some sort of encirclement here, that'd be good as well. Because the power armor still will be able to beat them up no matter what. And that's not really an issue here. Um, next planning organization would be good. Less power armor cost is not bad, and better special force capacity would be good, but... Righteous cause, might as well grab that one. You literally just might as well. Old soldiers, not the regular gold settlements we expect, but the ones we have organized. But these ones are organized. Having advanced tactics, ancient, non-standard equipment, and also speak Chinese. Interesting. We'll get them on the line, then we'll go in. We'll see what we can do about these guys. Because these guys, they're just going to flood through here, which sucks. And we did get this as a core. Oh, what was it? Whatever. Circuitry. Radar. Save anyways. Alright. Well, we could try it. Tell you what, we're going to definitely going to struggle here. I need you guys to go here. And go straight from up there to cut these guys off. I need you guys to go down where? Keep these guys in place and you guys go down there. You guys go there and go down, down, down to there. I need both to go like right there because these center divisions need to die. They just need to die. The these guys are doing actually very well. Uh, go there. They're doing force defense. If you want to about the followers of the apocalypse, please go right ahead. Um, just let them come in. That's fine for now. I don't really care. Actually, just go right here. That'll work. Cool. That was well. They they're gonna die regardless. Okay then. Good job, guys. Go over there, and then... Let's go straight for Duck City. The infantry suck, but whatever. Alright. Well, they're gonna die now. Even harder. Yay! Follow the hangdogs. Well, the hangdogs are already gone. No, but these guys knew that, but whatever. Old soldiers. Um, resource-wise, do we need more scrap and... Was it a complicated circuitry? Circuitry and scrap, yes. We can always build more factories. So, gather the remnant, or remains. Plenty of robots have been left to activate or damage either from the passage of time or a conquest. And so we can give the remains so they're used as raw material for our scribes to use. Which would be a good thing. Go to Colorado Springs first. We'll get down there in time. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Three more divisions to go die there. Take 40 cases. Oh, we won! Yay! That was a lot easier than I thought. Do you want a crown? Gather that remains in the city, city of Denver. It's finally ours. After clearing out the stragglers and scavengers, brother, now it's Denver and all of its riches. Oh, then I love having riches. Richie, richie, riches. It's fine, that's fine for now. Um, new sterling is zero, but there's not really much we can do about that. Fine, whatever. Uh, thicker. What do we say about divisions? The thicker, the better. Well, not always. And it's, it raises our special forces cap too, hopefully as well. At least make a mating combo, but that's the minimum. Um, what else do we have here? Keep training for now too. We do have some plans gathered that remains, and it's time for stonks. Bull maybe bear? Public projects, very nice. I love how fast Old World Blues mo still moves. After playing like TNO and Kaiser Redux, oh my goodness. Okay, so what of the pass? Also, we did get uh, Doki Doki as a general. I-L. Nice, intelligent, awesome. All right, what do we have here? Do that these guys know. Give me things. Uh, power armor scavenger, sure, why not? The stimulus, you know what? Uh, we have pretty good compliance. We can we don't have to do that one yet. We can wait maybe just a little bit first. City exploitation. Denver's a massive city. Just taking it isn't enough. We need to make it for ours forever. Very true. And build up the roads because you can eventually. Why do we only have one division there? Ruined streets, infrastructure, each of them. Getting a core. Right down here. Colorado Bro. Oh. Colorado Nats and Colorado Paladins. The Colorado Chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel? Ooh. Ooh, well, that'd be nice.
Um, Denver Consumer Industry. Furbishing Denver's industry is a vital first step in getting the city back up and running for our purposes. Why not? Scribe Industrial Insight. The level of industrialization in most pre war cities is so far beyond what anyone in the wasteland had been able to create. Having your scribes study these ancient sites will help us catch up. Which is a great, great thing. Yeah, we gotta get more organization there. Would you actually be able to do anything here? Like hold out? I have a feeling we'd be able to Oh, hello. Yep, maybe not. Okay then. We've got other issues right now. And they're not good issues to have. Well. This is probably where we're gonna have to do some real funky stuff. They have a lot of divisions. That's not good. Sell the fortification. Reinforcing the southern board from the future threats while we deal with the Colorado. Wow, I've got a lot of army XP now. Um, 20 combat is not bad. Power and support. There's not really the point of using those. Night patrols, 16. Go 18 at least minimum. And... Do I actually have any demo teams? Demo equipment, we got some. Let's probably research that stuff. Western fortifications. We're reinforcing Western border to secure our main territory. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. In the meantime, also grab air superiority and some of that too. About a month we'll have it. Good God, I hope we do okay. Yeah, we're definitely the last thing that they wanted to take out. Even twin mothers died to them. Legion arrives. A great host of trials appeared on the southern border, led by a monster named Aeneas. Oh, we must not fall to the face of this new foe. Check the decisions set for opportunities to end, with, end the war with Lanius. Oh. Push him across the river. Hold the line. Hunker down. Okay. Well, we'll see. I think we probably just deploy these guys immediately and just do that. And if you're not going to be able to hold that way. Oh wow, they're we're doing actually okay-ish because of their force attack. Holy crap! Some of these divisions looking not so good now. So you actually turn triumphant. Oh, that's good. That's good. Can we actually go in? The power armor might be able to go in. Let's go right there. I want a core dog city so badly though. So hey, we'll see. Hey, look at that. Nice. Anything else here? Air doctrine stuff, sure. Anything else? A lot better than I thought so far. What? They called it Iron Lines. Okay, now that's unfair. That's completely unfair. Are you kidding me? Well, it looks like I've got to go back to the drawing board. All right, everyone. So this war is impossible to win. Now, I didn't realize um, that we could do this, push him across the river. But at this point, I just cheated. I gave up. I mean, Lannis is way, 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 way too difficult to play against or fight against and them having Iron Alliance. So, unfortunately, we could do this one and we would get all the Skinwalkers territory. But I, I cheated at the end and I don't care. I really don't care because this war is... I want to say it's on balance and there's a reason why we still have this, but... I don't give a crap anymore. It's not fun when fighting against Lanius. So, uh, if you wonder about this one again, please go right ahead. But, ruin streets. <clears throat> Cleaning the streets of Denver allows the transport and navigate the city easier. 
paved roads. Rebuilding the roads in the former Hangdog territory will take time, but allow us to move faster to the central territory of Colorado, Denver military industry. Refurbishing Denver's industry is a vital first step in getting the city back up and running for our purposes. Factory blueprints. Blueprints for special weapons used by pre-war America found in the factories we refurbished or scrubs make good use of them. A muzzled city. The streets are long, no longer bustling with pre-war citizens nor post-war scavengers, but now with the hum of industry and the clank of power armor boots, Denver's now ours. The thing I hate about this is that you might, I didn't see this earlier. Like, I'm not even thinking about this type of crap here. Like, this is stupid. I hate this war. This war, it makes sense why this is here, but there should be an option saying, and we lost a lot of divisions. We lost a lot of divisions. I deleted all the enemy's divisions because I gave up on this war. Like, I hate this war. It's god-awful. But, uh, yeah, seriously, this is not fun. It, it's just not fun. And honestly, it should be an event that fires instead of a decision because who's going to look in the decisions tab for something like this? No one ever does that. So hold the line? God, no. So, I mean, just something in the future for maybe for the desert watching it all. If they wanted to have this still in the game, I might recommend just have it as an event fire. Because no one's looking for this. No one's going to look for this. No one's even going to remotely think about it. Because this war is god awful. And you have to use cons commands to win, basically. I mean, the initial push was probably where the devs wanted us to get to, but, like, I don't care. I At this point, I don't care. The, the war has gone long enough that I, I'm pissed off about it, so I don't, I don't even want to bother with this anymore. But, Colorado Brotherhood. With Denver conquered and our fallen brothers and sisters, eventually we will gain our lost forever. Colorado will be now and forever. Let's hope so. Because, like I said, this was garbage. Not fun. Not fun whatsoever. And if I have to use cons commands to actually win the war, then it's not fun. You know, usually. I'm not going to blame the devs completely. Lanius is just a piece of doo-doo. And we start off so weak. It, it's so it's so bad how weak we start off. And especially when... I hate... Okay, this nation, I hate the most. Pentadale still has an un, almost unlimited amount of manpower. And they just, just keep throwing divisions. And it's so bad. I hate it so much. I wish they would get a nerf. But they just never get a nerf. Never, ever, ever get, really get a nerf. I hate Lanius so much. I hate him so much. Come on. Just end the god dang war. I mean, we could end it by doing the stupid console, not the, the decisions tab, but at this point, heck no. Are you kidding me? That's stupid. It should not last this long. It really should not. Uh, expansion is Tennessee, Fortress Colorado, it would be nice and all, but. What's up in Colorado? Expedition now, expedition now is a solid base to push out from there, and there's plenty of technology out there to secure. So I apologize for using console commands, but. Yeah, in the future, if the desert are watching, please don't put it as a decision. Never put it as a decision. I mean, some people want it, that's one thing. At least I don't, I hate it. I hate it as a decision, because I'm not looking there. That doesn't make any sense for me to look there. Usually get events that fire about it. Nah, but decisions does make sense sometimes, but I don't know, just... Just make it an event. So, the iron price, so... I apologize once again for using consequences, but... God, that pissed me off so much. Like, it really pissed me off. I'm like, how are we supposed to win this? I'm not going to look here for, you know, this stuff. Are you kidding me? Uh, but while the slaves who operated them managed to escape during the chaos of a conquest, the forges of Iron Alliance, come on, uh, are still mostly intact. Hitting, hiring on some wastelanders to process the raw material that remains in New Sterling could give us a boost for industry while stockpiles last. Sure. And the Iron Price. Though we load the lead of advanced tech in the hands of mercenaries, the members of the Iron Alliance honor the contracts and remain in their lands if they're paid well. Hmm. Catch expenses? That's okay with us. But yeah, this that was just... <sighs> I know this was thought of, and I don't want to insult the devs. I never want to insult devs, but, like, it just pissed me off so much. It's like, you can't win this, especially when Iron Alliance comes in the war. Come on. Clear the roads. Using a power armor to push ancient cards out of the side of the roads is the most glamorous work, but necessary for securing the region. Maybe just me complaining in the wind. No one is going to look for <laughs> piecing out options in the decisions tab. No one will do that. Higher brother and Mount Levelant. The most of the mercenaries. Bands of the Iron Lance were crushed and advanced to the territory. New few veteran units managed to thrive in a group, perfectly willing to fight for us if they're well paid. Higher the favor of Reapers. The most of the mercenary bands of the Iron Lance were crushed and advanced uh, oh, if they're well paid, of course. Yeah. Try that. But yeah, I apologize, but like, Jesus Christ. It just. It, it, it pisses me off so much. I'm like, oh, we could have, we could have pizza earlier? Instead of having to, you know, force all the way through there and then get Iron Alliance to join them, that just made me so angry. Like, it didn't make any sense why, like... <laughs> it's so frustrating sometimes. I, I apologize, I, at the time of scoring, I've played quite a few frustrating mods and campaigns, it's just... It's so annoying when things just don't go smoothly. But many of the buildings of the Robot City aren't even in terrible shape. With a little work, we can clear plenty of indoor space for purpose later. Oh, 
God, don't... Eh, that's not bad. Actually, these guys aren't bad. Oh, I... Oh, why? Why? Now, this is the thing. I'm really pissed off. I don't like this at all. Why can't you edit these division templates? Why? 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 <sighs> that... That is... Not good. I apologize if I'm getting very complaining at the end of this video, but, like, this whole war pissed me off so much. Unbelievably so much. We were doing so well until they go to war, and then Iron Alliance just has to come in. If Iron Alliance did not come in, we would have won this war easily. It was ridiculous. There you go. Buildings, robot cities, no more. Robots no longer wanted. The streets of this destroyed city and the surrounding settlements are all under our protection. Well, honestly, probably only one, one, only one more episode on this one. We'll probably from the state of Utah, 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 Colorado. That's pretty much it, probably. I definitely don't want to do a full wasteland campaign, but like, this mod's not bad. It's pretty good overall. Overall, I'd, I'd recommend it. I definitely recommend this campaign. Just if, and that's why I did it, testing this out. If you haven't done it yet, apparently decisions are in there to peace out Lanius. Development zone. One more war and then we'll end the episode. Cycling. Not bad. Any other planes, perhaps? No, we don't, huh? Some blimps. Drop plane attackers are nice, though. Come on. Alright, pretty easy. Yeah. Just, I hate, I hate, 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 hate Lanius. So usually he's pretty weak, but for this campaign, on a historical, he was normally strong as he used to be. But, I've got to end it there because I am done with this episode. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll probably finish off the rest of this campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.